Hey friend, so I wanna share with you what I am actually doing right now. If you are new to me, I am Tiara, AKA T, and I love to live a life that is bubbly. So with that being said, um, I am someone who has been getting their hair braided probably since I was like, I don't know, in first grade, and I'm in my 30s at this point. And no one taught me that you should rinse your braid hair, your twist hair, the synthetic hair that you're adding into your install. Uh, I found it just like happenstance going through YouTube. And for those of you, if you're like, okay, after I get my braids done, my head is super itchy and like, I'm like, you know, going around pat, pat, patting all the time. Guess what? It's because your hair has like a, like a cast on it and it makes us itchy, friend. So the way to get rid of it is a nice, just apple cider vinegar soak. So today I am using the Amazon 3X Rasta Afre, Rasta, Rasta free. There we go. That's how you say it. Rasta free braid hair. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it at your beauty supply store. Uh, I got this batch on Amazon actually. It is in the BT1BG uh, color. And here we go. I love what brought me to this. I have to say is that the fact that there's Tiara on it. And I'm like, hey, I'm Tiara. We got Tiara. We're going to get crown energy, goddess energy. Yes. So all I've done here is filled up my bathtub. You see that? I filled up my bathtub. I put about a cup and a half, two cups of apple cider vinegar in here, swished it around, and then I just dropped my hair in. And this particular pack comes in like three little bundles inside one pack. So I left the rubber bands on it so they don't like, they, they hold onto each other and they don't get matted in, in between each other. I just drop them in there and I let them soak for about 20 minutes and then I just rinse them off and, and take them out of, of the bathtub and then I let them air dry on my balcony. And so it's super simple, just one little step before you get your hair done uh, to make sure that everything's good. And so I would say leave like a full day out in the sun. Uh, so allow for that amount of time before you get your braids done to allow for the braid hair to dry and then you're good to go. So let me know if you try it and how you find it, friend.